How can you have conflict in a brand story? That's an interesting one. So when you're writing a brand story, you have your brand persona, which is like your character, but your brand itself also has its own character. I'd say your brand is maybe the main character, but the goal is to get your target audience to engage with the character of your brand. One way to do that is to create some sort of external um, opposition, a bad guy that you can align yourself with your customers against. So let's say you are a whitening toothpaste brand. You're aligning yourself with your customer, you know, against germs and against like whatever, if you have something that's like an organic thing, right? Against big pharma, against chemicals, right? So you align yourself together um, based on some sort of um, obstacle or conflict. If you're Walmart, you're going to be saying like, we do things cheaper, right? You want to go to the, in the expensive department store or like you can come here and we got you. I think the other part of that is that like, it's like you're acknowledging the struggles that, that your customer goes through. And one thing about beat characters, and I, I hate saying this, so you're welcome, is that they need to be relatable. And I, I hate it because students will just be like, I related to this book. That's why I like it. And I'm like, well, what did you relate to? In what way? What are you talking about? And they don't know. So, um, but you need to like see a bit of yourself in that character. This is why too, like if someone created a toothpaste brand that was for whitening, that was also organic or something, you'd probably also want to know the owner's story because they probably went through something like you. Usually it's a story like this. Um, I had really yellow teeth and I'm sensitive to chemicals and, you know, I don't want to support brands that are polluting the oceans. So I searched and searched and I found that most brands were super expensive or really hard to find. And then I, you know, so I put my, my thinking cap on and I found a way that I could make my own brand and that would be affordable for people like me and you, my friend, who's my audience, who's my purchasing customers, um, that you could use and need in the same way that I needed it. I mean, obviously I'm going to mark it up and make money off of it. We don't want to talk about that, but that's the idea. And if you can get your customer or your, your listener, your audience member to go on that journey with you and to be excited about your story and to like embrace it, they're like, yeah, I do know that struggle. And then they want to support you anyways. And, and that's the whole idea. It's like people supporting people, aligning yourself with people with, with common values and, um, you know, authenticity. Because obviously if you're like a big brand and you're saying that you care about the little guy and then your actions say otherwise, then you're going to lose your, your target audience. It's not going to be attracted to that. So it, it maybe sounds negative the way that I said it there, but it's not, it's like you're finding like-minded people that want to support you and that want to use your product. And that's perfect. That's the whole goal.